Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video that's been highly requested by you all. It is how I take care of my skin, the products I use, and stuff like that. So the routine I'm going to be showing you, I try to do it twice a day, once in the morning and then once at night before I go to bed. The first thing I want to do is I make sure that I have no makeup on my face. This doesn't necessarily apply to the morning unless I fell asleep with my makeup on, which I try to stay away from. So I like to take my makeup off with makeup wipes. I don't really have a preference, I just, you know, buy whichever brand I see when one runs out. So a few weeks ago I was using the Neutrogena wipes and those are really, really good. I like because the, the what are they called, the sheets or like the towels, whatever they're called, they're really, really thick. So I find myself not having to use as many when I use that brand. But yeah, right now I'm using these two. This one is a cleansing facial towelette. It has aloe vera. Um, antioxidants, it soothes and balances the skin, prevents moisture loss, relieves sun damage, and has anti-aging benefits. And then this one, it's just a basic makeup wipe. Um, it just has a lavender scent to it. And yeah. I'm not really picky with makeup wipes. As long as they don't irritate my skin or cause me to break out, I'll pretty much use whichever brand. So what I like to do is I use one wipe to take off the makeup on my, my face and then I'll use another wipe to take off my eye makeup and if I have any product on my eyebrows. One thing I notice when I take off my eye makeup with the wipe in a circular motion is that it's more likely for my eyelashes to fall out that way. Um, so what I do now is I'll take a wipe and I'll put it you know, on my index finger and then I'll grab it with my middle finger and then I'll just do... Um, I'll do upward motions with them so that way it takes off the mascara without being too harsh on the lashes. The next thing I do is I'm going to clean my face of course. So I used to use the Cetaphil facial cleanser and then I also used to use this one which I really like this one. It's the L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Anti Breakout Facial Cleanser and I really like that it came with like a little brush that I would just put the product on it and then I'll just clean my face that way but that ran out and I'm the type of person I don't really like I'm not picky when it comes to products like unless the product I'm like in love with I will usually just buy a different brand like product just because I like to test out different things so since those ran out right now I'm using the clean and clear essentials foaming facial cleanser and I really like this because it it foams up on your face and I don't have to use as much of the product. You can see like I'm already almost done because I use this literally like every day twice a day. For the area around my nose, I do have blackheads. I don't know if you can see in the camera. It's not um, that noticeable, but I like to use the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser. And I really like this because it has little beads. Let me put some, I don't know if you can see. It has like some beads on them that really helps loosen up the blackheads around my nose and I definitely can't use this on my entire face because of the beads so this is a little tougher on the skin and if I were to use this on my entire face my face would probably like break out or it would get really red so I just use it in the area around my nose and then to scrub that I like to use the Olay Professional Brush it comes with uh, its own exfoliating renewal cleanser but I don't really use it. Um, so yeah, it just has two buttons like this. The top one is just to turn it on and off, and then the second one, um, you can control the speed with the second one if you want it to go faster. And I just use this around my nose so that it can be easier to you know, get the product in there. Next, to exfoliate my entire face, I am currently using the Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System. And I really like this. I got this as a gift, I think, my, yeah, my brother's boyfriend got this for me one time, um, and it looks like this. It has a brush. You just turn it on or off, and then if you put it in the middle, it's kind of like not as intense. If you put it to the top, it's really intense. And then it comes, it came with the batteries too, and then it comes with like a jar with the little pads that you put on top. So this has like a Velcro material, and then the pads have, you know, the thing in the back that you can just stick to it. Um, and then you just wet it and then you exfoliate your whole face with it. Okay, so this claims to 
Um, it says if you use it today, you'll have softer, more luminous skin, and by tomorrow, you'll have firmer, younger looking skin. And I definitely do have to agree, when I use this, um, I definitely see a difference in my skin. It's softer and it just looks more, what's the word? It looks more radiant, I guess. It looks cleaner and just super smooth, but I can't use this every day. Not only because I don't have enough of the pads to use every day, but because if I were to use this every day, my skin would probably be super red because this is a microdermabrasion system. And if I were to use it every day, I think it's just too tough on my skin for everyday purposes. So since I only have one left, which I'm kind of bummed out about, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this because I think this, this was kind of expensive. So like I said, I like to try new things. So in the meantime, until I find something else to replace that with, I'll just be using the Olay brush and I'll exfoliate my face that way, my entire face. So on an everyday basis, I'll use this to clean my face and then once or twice a week, I'll clean my face with the Olay brush until I find something to replace the Neutrogena system. And lastly, the most important thing that I do every day in the morning, in the nighttime, sometimes even during the day, is I moisturize my skin. I can't stress how important moisturizing your skin is, especially in your neck area because, I mean, I've heard that that's kind of the first place that you can see signs of aging. So to moisturize, I use the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion and it says it's ultra hydrating for dry and sensitive skin. My skin is not really dry or super sensitive, but yeah, this is so, so good. It keeps my skin moisturized, smooth. Um, one thing I did notice, however, about this is that sometimes if I use too much, it kind of just sits on my face, which is probably because I took too much. So yeah, if I just put like maybe two dots, that's enough for my entire face. And then I'll do that when I wake up in the morning and then I'll wait a few minutes to let it dry before I do my makeup. And then I'll just put some at night, go to sleep. And I really, really love this. And because it's so big, I've had this for like over a year and it's up to here. And I use this like two times a day, sometimes three times a day, and sometimes even on my body. So yeah guys, that is pretty much what I do to take care of my skin. I hope I answered some of the questions you guys had regarding my skincare routine. And yeah, if you have any other suggestions or things that you want me to do a video of, definitely leave a comment below or you can even message me. And yeah, I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible. I usually respond to like the comments within a week or sometimes even much sooner than that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.